before I start this video, let me wish a happy Ramadan to all the Muslim brothers and sisters out there. Ramadan Kareem. Um, I've been taking my time getting into my fast, trying to make sure I get my foundation before I get back into my videos. Shall we begin? One thing that I hate in life is a thief. When I was younger, I got the worst whooping of my life for stealing something that I didn't steal by my aunt. And it made me realize then and ever since then I hate a thief. Now, don't get me wrong. I respect the jokes. If you want something from somebody and you're in the streets and you're a gangster, amongst other gangsters, stick up kids is out the tax. It is what it is. If you're making money illegally, that's our money. I'm coming to get that. You're making money legally, that's your money. The streets is the streets. Blind followers. I tell people all the time. Take the message. And leave the messenger. Snakes. Devils. Backstabbers. They come in all shapes, colors, and sizes. And sometimes you can't see through them. For me, I was always taught to respect my elders. I opened the door for them. I helped them cross the street. I helped them with their groceries. I helped them upstairs sometimes if need be in my days of living in the projects. I can't find it within myself to steal from a senior citizen. But you know in life they say. A sucker is born every day. A sucker is born every day. Don't be nobody's sucker. You can't pay your way into paradise. You cannot pay your way into paradise. And usually when somebody. When a snake or you salesman. Come with a scheme. On how to get rich. If they ain't already rich. They shouldn't need your money if they got the key to that locked door of getting through that, uh, that locked door of being rich. They shouldn't need your money to open up that door because they got what it takes already. Stop investing in these snake oil salesmen. You cannot buy your way into prison and stop putting your trust into man and put your trust into God. There's nothing worse than a man that would rob from a senior citizen, an elderly lady, and then get up on the internet. I'm not even going to waste my time right now playing his response of sitting up there trying to blame the FBI for coming at him because they want the mayor. If the FBI wants the mayor, they don't need to come to you. The mayor hangs out with rappers that hang out with drug kingpins. So the mayor, so the FBI don't have to come for the pastor that's hanging out with senior citizens. He doesn't have to do that. He can go, if the FBI wanted the mayor, the mayor hangs out with rappers that hang out with drug kingpins. They know this. Why do they need the pastor? I don't even want to hear that. Because the reality of it is, you can tell the difference between a man that lives for the fernery of this life, the finer things in this life. You can tell a man of God, or rather the difference between a man of God and a man who lives for this world. People who believe in God. Who come from Christianity. Islam. The Abrahamic faiths. They believe in the afterlife. When you see a man that claims that. He know he's, he's on his way to his grave. But he's accumulating all the wealth in this world. You can tell the difference between a righteous man and an unrighteous man. Open up your eyes, man. Open up your eyes. 
Because the reality of it is, it's like when a drug dealer sees a brick of cocaine, they come in to get it. Well, when you get these snake oil salesmen and they see your bank account, they come in to get it. You can't buy your way into paradise. Uh, uh, brother uh, Whitehead, I hope and pray that you stop lying. I hope and pray that you repent for the evils that you've done because no matter how much the feds might have wanted you because you're down with the mayor and we hear all that bull crap, that don't have nothing to do with a senior citizen woman accusing you. She placed her faith in you instead of God and you got her. Got him. You got her. It is what it is. Ain't nothing else more to it in this story. You got her. Now you go into prison. You reap what you sow. Because if you didn't ask that old woman for her money and spent her money where well, you got all that bling bling that you could have pawned. You wouldn't be in the hot seat that you in. You didn't think that you robbing that old lady will come back and bite you in your ass. Well, it did. It is what it is. That's my take on the situation. The senior citizens are to be protected. The children in this world are to be protected. And when somebody ain't nothing worse than somebody coming to the praying man. And the praying man is praying on you. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. Hit that subscribe button. And pay attention to your circle before they hurt you. And in this case right here, the man of God hurt that elderly woman. There ain't no telling what she lost, what property she lost, or what things she lost behind him taking all her money. I'm out.